hurt and pain. Now, these are two things, two words that hold a lot of weight. A lot of weight that we end up integrating into our existence and into ourselves and hold on to it be as a part of being our expression, being our identity. Having been hurt in the past plays out in our present and will play out in our future if we don't work through that energy, through that identity, through that perception, through that experience. So we have to go into sometimes the past to understand where that hurt comes from. Because oftentimes when we've been hurt in the past, it plays out in the present and it affects us being able to move fully and freely into relationships that we want, into success that we want, because we become afraid. We don't want to fail again. We don't want to hurt again. We don't want to open up again. And from my experience, if you know me, if you know the things I talk about, I do go into past life. Uh, and sometimes in conversations such as this, but I feel that it is very valuable, especially to learn your past life situations are playing out in this life. And for example, something that I happened upon recently through my own Akashic readings, I went into my own records to understand why I'm so affected by abandonment. And it's something that has played out since I was a child in this lifetime. And it's something that I'm very aware of. And I, it comes out in many ways. It comes out in many ways. It comes out in how I uh, approach my career and how I approach the success that I want and relationships, of course, and also myself, how I value myself. And this one thing has followed me around for a long time and it has hurt. It has hurt. The wounds within myself, I feel are very deep because I've gone through a lot of the healing work and I, I feel that I've done a lot of the healing in this lifetime, a lot. I feel that I've gone through and forgiven and resolved a lot of the things that have happened in this lifetime. But for some reason, this one thing inside of me keeps lingering and playing out and it keeps coming up. And so I went into my past life and I asked, so when you go through past life regression, when you work with someone, uh, you can do your own as well, but if you're not comfortable with it, you can definitely um, hire someone or work with a guide, but you go through um, the gatekeepers, the teachers, um, they hold the wisdom of your Akashic records and your records are tied to um, your whole soul's, your soul's journey um, in all dimensions. So really it is up to you to go into it and access it. There are ways to go through it. I'm not going to go through all the steps here, but I just want to offer a little bit of guidance as far as the, as far as what is required to go into those records and what you can do for yourself to access them and go through the steps of understanding why things are playing out in this lifetime because it's all connected it is all connected and like i said we've been on this planet before and what is happening when we're here what has happened to us in the past is energetically playing out today for you so when, when I think of the things that I've gone through that have been very hurtful, because I, I experiment a lot with myself regarding hurt and pain. When do I get hurt? What triggers within myself that brings up a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of hurt? And I've gone through past life and I went right to the source. I went right to the source of where this is coming from for me to feel this way today. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. I don't really need to share all of my stories here, but it was very profound and it, it really did shift something within inside of me because it's same as tarot, same as anything that you might work with where you finally, you, you hear something that you need to hear in order to move on, in order to put something to rest. And I do feel that that allowed for me to have a bit more clarity and a bit more understanding so that I can move on from that hurt that kept playing out and everything is energy. And if there's something that we're holding on to with regards to a hurt, or a pain, not only does it prevent us from opening up for more, but we very well could keep reliving it. And for those who watch my channel, you may have heard me say this many times before, that hurt and pain are the frequency and the severity that we label it as, that we give it. So oftentimes when we're hurt, we can live in that hurt and pain for years, for a lifetime. And it becomes so familiar that when we start moving away from it, when we start transitioning away from it, there's almost this interplay from the ego that wants us to go back into that hurt and pain because it becomes so familiar. 
And there's a great amount of power within that energy that makes us feel trapped and stuck within it, even though we don't like it. And it causes reactions. It causes so many things in our outer world, how we influence others, our reaction to others, our relationships with others, everything, our health, everything. But when we become so ingrained in it and so familiar, it holds so much weight on us. And when we start to go, okay, I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want to feel this. I don't want to hurt anyone else because of my hurt. Starting to move through the process of letting it go is a, is, is a process unto its own because there requ there's a very strong requirement to trust and step into the unknown of how it is going to feel without the hurt and pain that you may have lived with for a long time, because that has become very familiar. So there's a transition moving from the hurt, the pain that you may have been carrying subconsciously or consciously into fully releasing and opening up to an all expansive expression of love and being in that power and being strong with that and being open and trusting again, and that whole process is very, very subtle. It's very soft. It takes time, but there is this point where you're going to reach from moving out of being in the hurt and pain and fear is really at the base of it all moving into that love frequency. But before even moving into love frequency, it's moving away from the past energy and that transitionary stage of feeling your way through how it feels like living out of what you've been in for so long because again it's like it's like someone giving you a big reveal or someone learning something that will change everything for you those big aha moments those big like wow eye openers or big bomb drops and all of a sudden you're like you have to adjust to it oh okay well now i have to adjust to that and there's an adjustment period that needs to happen from moving from that pain and hurt and fear into your love frequency, into expansiveness, into openness, and knowing that hurt and pain is only the frequency that we label it as because of our past experiences, because of things that we've gone through in the past. So I've said this before, but it's very important that this is really played with in with regards to your own journey, like experiment with this, experiment with the feeling, move through your own journey and start to understand and question and go inward on what is my severity of hurt and pain? Where have I had experienced hurt and pain before in the past? And how is it playing out today? Is it playing out in my reactions to people? Is it playing out in how I perceive the world or things or relationships? Is it playing out in how I express my heart? It, is it playing out in how I live in my heart? space? Am I living openly? Am I living fully? Am I living freely? Am I in my power? Am I confident? And when we have had hurt and pain, we want to protect and we want to sometimes often go into small mode. And then we attack the world outside of us or have um, conflict, having relationships that are very uh, confrontational. So this is again, an exercise to move from the feeling of where is that hurt and pain coming from? And there's a fear at the base of it all. We're either in fear or we're in love. Fear brings up the hurt and the pain. We're afraid to be hurt. We're afraid to be vulnerable. We're afraid to be abandoned. We're afraid that no one's going to see us, that no one's going to love us. Whatever that fear is, it comes from a root cause. And the more that we can understand this, move away from it. And even if you don't know the root, try and feel into where you are at now with anything that you've gone through in the past. How open are you right now? How expressive are you right now? How does your body feel? How does your heart feel? Do you feel open with love, with relationships, with success, with abundance, with all of it? And if there's a hesitation or a block or a, or a, a little bit of a pushback energetically, when you think of that, if you can be all expansive, what does all expansive feel like? play with the energies and go into a meditation and just feel you can even just close your eyes and just letting go of all the energy and letting go of the heaviness, letting go of the hurt and pain energies and feel what it feels like to be nothing. And then go into your heart and bring in love 
and what does that feel like and play around with these frequencies and you'll get to feel the difference between being expansive being in love and being in the hurt hurt energy and like i said when we are in hurt and fear it's almost our ego likes us to be there there's a thing within us and i this is again my own experience that i've been trying to figure this out through this exercise there's almost this distrust that's built when you're hurt and there's this distrust that the ego holds on to where there's almost this energy of how can I open and trust when I've been burnt when I've gone through this not every situation is going to be the same and when you're in a higher state of love or a higher vibrational expression of yourself you'll manage situations better you'll be able to work with the frequency of love which is healing and which is very resolving throughout all situations you'll be able to uh, work through problems and situations through a different lens and through a different expression of yourself rather than being in the hurt and fear mode and pain mode that is a very reactive state it's a very protective state don't hurt me if you do i'm going to get you it's a very very tense place to be so also too when you are working with love and when you are allowing situations to un to unfold or to resolve through the frequency of love kindness compassion rather than reacting you hurt me i'm going to get you back that is a very common fear-based mechanism for trying to be right trying to resolve trying not to get hurt but then you also inflict more pain on yourself through that process it hurts you it hurts the other person but when you're in love you take a step back and you say okay let's just try and find a way through this or even within yourself how can i work through this with the most loving and compassionate way and let go of that ego because the ego will want to come in and will want to fight back and will want to prove right and will want to be right and remember the most powerful powerful thing that we can all do is forgive it's the power most powerful thing to do it takes so much courage so much courage but when you stand in your power of love and forgiveness and compassion more and more and test it out and try it out even if the ego is going i'm going to get that person what they did is not right i don't want to feel hurt again let it go switch gears and go into how can i work through this with love and kindness and then when you raise your vibration when you're working in a more working and operating in a more in a higher frequency of love and in a greater expression of yourself you are also going to change that relationship dynamic you are also going to affect those around you so when i was going through extensive over the last two years really 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 strong work daily 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 on myself the, the relationships that i was having the most difficult with through my life started to heal and it wasn't i could see from the outside their energy was healing their energy was changing the way that they saw me changed and remember if you're in if you're in fear and pain and hurt because you're protective and also could be reactive they'll pick up on that subconsciously people will pick up on that energy subconsciously but when you are in your love frequency you almost ha don't have to do anything after a while because the reaction of other people is going to their is going to change the reaction of other people the dynamic with uh, dynamics with other people their frequency is going to start to change because your frequency changed that is hugely powerful it's hugely powerful so i challenge you i encourage you to try this a little bit just dip your toes in it try a little bit here and there play with that energy this is constant work it is allowing for us to understand ourselves and understand these energies so that we can move into that higher vibrational expression of ourselves higher state of consciousness and when we're moving towards a higher state of consciousness it's all about forgiveness and love frequency that's it it is very 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 powerful 
And you will resolve your wounds of the past through that process. You will resolve past pain from your past through that process. All right, my loves, I do hope that this video is finding you in the right time. I'm wishing you all the best during your journey. Leave a comment below if you like. I love hearing everyone's stories and comments, feedbacks as well. Take care.